and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wasn't going to film but then I thought I'm doing a lot with my Etsy store at the moment. You guys have been asking me if I'm going to be adding more things to my Etsy. Uh, I don't look very good today. I haven't really <laughs> done my hair or anything. Um, but basically what I'm doing now is I'm taking photos of things that I'm putting in my Etsy store. And I'm going through and I'm packaging things and pack, like packing them all up into packs. So I was just showing you a second ago all this stuff, but then my battery died. So I'm going to re-show you what I've got. So um, I've obviously still got things from my grandma's house. I'm trying to wait here on this way to make sure that I'm, I've got the postage right. I've also got a whole bunch of packaging here. So I've got like these old, I don't even know what these are. Someone said it was a game, but they kind of look like coasters, but I thought they were just so beautiful. And if someone really likes... Um, really out there prints then this would be perfect for you or if you like that retro looking um, vibrant colors that would be perfect to someone so I will be adding them in a little pack I also got these adorable Japanese vintage stamps um, I'm not sure what these are I think they were like a memory game I'll be adding these in if you want to add them to like your journaling or things I'm gonna pinch a few for myself before I send them off because I love them so much and I also got these cool old packs these were at um, a little bookshop and they were all in a box and I collected them all. And I was going to bring them back and make lots and lots of stationery out of them. Although I never got around to doing it. So I will be pinching a few things out of each pack. Um, and showing you guys how I'm going to make some stationery out of these things. But they're just so cool. They're so jam packed. And you can make some really cool stuff. Even if you wanted to journal with them or send them to pen pals who like vintage Japanese um, like I don't know if you'd call them craft they're like kids games but I'm gonna make sure I turn them into something beautiful and then over here is my glory find sorry my my house is so messy right now how beautiful is this box so I'll show you what's inside so it is an old stationery kit and I absolutely love it and I really don't want to sell it although I did buy these things to sell so if I kept everything I bought then I would be overloaded with stationery I'll have stationery for days but I might keep like a few little bits and pieces because they do look they are quite special these are hand folded handmade little envelopes and they're just the sweetest things we've got these little cards look how beautiful these are like I might pinch one or two of these, but oh, they're just so cute. We've also got these a whole stack of hand folded envelopes. And also this is so beautiful. I love this so much. Look at this. <gasps> Isn't that just so cool? It little flips open. I don't even know what country this is. I don't know what this writing is. If anyone knows that writing, please let me know because it'd be nice to put it on Etsy shop. Um, and it doesn't say, I think, a date anywhere. Um, it was made in Australia, so maybe a few of these things have been mismatched over the years because I feel like that's definitely not Australian. Um, and then we've got old parchment type paper down below. So I just thought that was a steal and if it doesn't sell in the Etsy store, I'm going to be so happy to keep that one. So most things that I do find... I usually want to keep myself so I'm not buying them just for selling I'm buying them to see if anyone wants them because I love I love vintage shopping so this is something I'm very passionate about um, and if they don't sell I'm so happy to keep them myself <laughs> now these two things I'm in love with so these don't if these don't sell I'm so keen to keep them I might pinch a few before I sell them so these are old um, I think cigarette containers like tins and inside are these beautiful old stamps I don't know if we'll sell this as a little set because it's just so beautiful and whoever wants it I think we'll fall in love with every single one of these or if I'll sell them individually I'm not 100% sure yet but this one over here is Australian theme so we've got an um, an echidna, a platypus, a little lizzie, and a kookaburra. So they're all Australian stamps, and I think I'm going to also add some um, Australian, um, sorry, st yeah, stamps. I'm also going to add Australian stamps as well. I'm saying stamps twice, but you know what I mean, like rubber stamps and um, stamps you put on letters. So that's all the things I got um, for my Etsy. So at this point in time, oh, and I also got these, I forgot to show you. I don't know if they're going to focus, but they're all these magazines. There's a whole stack of them, so I'll be, again, putting them, either selling them separately or putting them in packages, like little 
stationary package that you can craft yourself. So yeah, that's everything. Um, and then I'm gonna have to do a big house clean up because my house is a mess. <laughs> um, but yeah, right now I'm just taking photos. I'm just sorting out expenses first, prices, and I'm also just figuring out what packages I'm going to create. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm not going to show you me because I just woke up, but I wanted to show you my little shop. Um, so I put this on Instagram last night, I had a lot of good responses. So it actually is coming to look like a little shop now. currently just bundling all the packages. I've got some really cute stuff in here. Um, this is the pile where I've reused some of the stuff I got from my pen pals. Um, this is all like papers and things that I've been sourcing over the years. So there's some really awesome stuff in here and I've put all my stamp packets in um, every single package as well. I've also added again some of those little um, sticker girls. And yeah, I've found and sourced some really cool paper. So there's some really unique stuff throughout um, and stuff from all over the world. So I'm just bundling it. So I've made a few piles over there. I won't go too close because you start seeing the addresses. But I've got the double bundles, the bundles that I haven't packaged, and also the bundles that I've already packaged over here. So about halfway through, what's the time by the way? Um, it's 11.17. I wanted to get this done around 12 and then I'm going to go and start pricing these and seeing how much they're going to cost for shipping because I want the accurate prices because I know that it's going to start getting very expensive. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bundle these and then I'm going to do all my pricing. I'm going to put it all in, um, upload um, and launch my second round of stuff for the Etsy store tonight. I'm going to edit this video and yeah. That's going to be my day for today. <laughs> just all my packages. I thought I'd just do a little run through. So these are all of them here. I don't know why I've been recording like this. I think it's because I've been having really bad hair days. <laughs> um, so I'm going to end the video here. I did all my shipping costs earlier today. So I've got all my shipping costs written down. I've got all my packaging sorting out. Um, all these nice big... A4 packages. I've also got all my um, tracking, um, I don't know what you call them, just tracking forms um, ready to go so when order's coming I can write down all the details there, put them on here. I usually just hand write them because I haven't got any stickers or anything so I'm just going to hand write the orders, figure out the boasting costs and then obviously just ship them. So yeah, that's it for today. Um, I'm just going to be putting all the shipping information into Etsy and I'm going to post it tonight and um, yeah, it will be available once you see this video, it will probably be available before then, so if some of the items have already gone, I'm sorry, you can go into the sold section to see what has sold, and you can also request a custom order if you're after something in particular. So, thanks again for watching, I'll see you guys next week. Bye! <laughs>